Not too many schools make it to the 100 year mark these days, so the 100th anniversary of Port Colborne High is a big deal. Principal Paul Taylor and committee member Alicia Arnold join us. Paul, big plans for September 23rd? Huge plans for the 23rd, Mike. Huge plans. What's happening that day? So, um, the, uh, the big fun part, obviously, uh, the alumni group is organizing a giant street party on Elgin Street. I think maybe Alicia could talk more to that. We're actually going to have permission from the city to shut the street down once school's done for the day on the, uh, uh, that Friday before the 23rd. And um, there will also be an open house during the, the, the afternoon on the 23rd where folks can go through the school um, and explore some memorabilia, run into old classmates, run into old staff members, and interact with the space and reminisce a little bit. Alicia, you're a 1994 grad, I believe? 1994. What's it been like being back at the school helping to plan this event? Uh, it's been actually pretty spectacular because just walking through the halls every time that we're there makes you go right back in time. So I've kind of like gained 30 years, I guess, on myself, if I could say that. Um, but it makes you want to get involved again and you remember how much your high school times meant to you. So you want to celebrate it more and more when you're there. What are some of the plans for that street party? Live music? Yeah, food? so the street party, like Paul said, we're going to close down Elgin Street. So it's going to be um, basically like an old fashioned uh, street party, kind of bringing back the Kinfest feel that we used to have um, at the Portland Arena. Uh, we're going to have food vendors there. We're going to have live music from 2 till 11 and all of the music is actually Port High grads. Really? Well, maybe not Port High grads, but they went to Port High right. at some point in their time. Excellent. Um, yeah, so we have duos, we have singles, um, we have three plus bands um, playing on a big stage and everything, and they're uh, actually one of the bands just won the Rock Search concert. Um, Rock Gravely. Search. Yes, 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 you know what yes. I mean? Yeah. So we're excited to have him there. Um, we haven't really announced a lot of the people, but we could say it now. Ruckus is going to be playing a band called No Class, um, Chad Charles Campbell and Family Affair. And We've then had Chad the, in here. Uh, yeah, so it's, and they're all Port High grads, so it's, it's really fun to have them going to be on stage so that we can go and watch them play. Any chance the musical principal, Paul Taylor, will step up and jam with if, one of them? Uh, I might just have my guitar on the ready in case it's needed. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. We could get, we're going to have a host, Rob Pagetto, who's also the grad too. He's going to host it and maybe bring, be able to bring you up on there. Sure. <laughs> Paul, you've been digging through some memorabilia, which, you know, that's near and dear to my heart because we work together. You saw my office full of memorabilia from Laura Secord. What are some of the things that you found? Lots and lots of old photos. And, you know, those are, those are the really interesting ones, right? Because they're easy, easy access points for folks in terms of uh, looking back through history. Uh, we have an archive in, in the school of all of, uh, every copy of the Tatler. And it was really interesting to, as you were going through that archive, to see that the Tatler started out as the school newspaper, and then to see how it, uh, how it grew from a school newspaper into our yearbook. And uh, also to see, you know, in 1922, the first uh, publication that we have uh, in the archive, there are two photographs in there. And then the, seeing the progression over the years of where their, you know, photography is becoming more and more accessible and right. seeing that grow. Uh, we obviously we have some uh, items uh, around the set here um, that have been, uh, been coming in. Um, we're in the process of um, uh, doing a little bit of spring cleaning at the school, which has actually uncovered some other bits and pieces that uh, we'll have on display. Exciting on stuff. Yeah. Golf tournament as well on the Sunday? Golf tournament following. on the Sunday, yeah. So that's, um, we're looking for foursomes to play in that. And that's all open up. We can, there's Eventbrite tickets also on sale for the actual event itself, so people can go and buy them. Mm -hmm. And then Sunday is the golf tournament. Excellent. Well, congratulations on 100 years. We're looking forward to uh, seeing how it all shakes out. Thanks so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you, Excellent. Mike.